Stream Elements says, Scorpwana is now live. Streaming Star Trek Online, Star Trek Online, am I wrong? No. Yeah but, February 12th, 2022. First things first. Hello, everybody. Yep, 12th February 2022, like Streamlabs or Stream Elements said. We're going to go to my character <clears throat> so that I can get to um, get the R&D items that I made yesterday. One for Lilo and one for O'Neill. <clears throat> so we're going to do that. Okay, we need to go backwards. Turn around. Turn around faster, damn it. Welcome to the Alright, gonna dock in and go to the bank. Tetrion right there, okay. <clears throat> What's that? Disruptor. Piercing Tetrion, bound to character. Bound to character. Inhibiting. Oh yeah, because I used that myself. <clears throat> Dual beam bank. I, cr I created that, okay. Alright, and while I'm here, might as well get the Phoenix box for the day. Okay. <clears throat> Open it up, get an uncommon. Duh. Where's it at? Right there. Rare! Oh, okay. <clears throat> Neat. Alright, let's go back. And load Lilu. Got water in my ears again. 98.9 on the f temperature scale on my internals. <coughs> Lilu. I've been kind of fearful of eating anything, really. Oh, good. Get to a bank. And account bank. And take that out. And put it in onto Lulu's ship. Flying Tiger. Because we don't... What do we have? We have... Stations. What do we have? Beam. So we're beam build, so we don't need to have that there. Damn it. Frickin' space did it all have. Alright, yes. Can that go somewhere? I know it's... Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Beam up and go to Voth country. 
OXNYX053 says, you've got a LT with scatter volley. LT with scatter volley. Hello, Ox. <clears throat> well, yeah, that's, that's uh, Lilu is going to be a beam ship, so I needed to get that out of the way. Oh, that. Monroe. Yeah. Well, I never use him for the ship anyway. Monroe. That is a good point, though. Because uh, that's, that's all he's got. Okay, he has a lot of OXNYX053 says APB. APB. You got an APB out on somebody? All points bulletin? <laughs> BR549. Yeah, I guess that's why he only has that, is because I've never given him any kind of training manuals. He was a temporary crew member anyway. <clears throat> but I've been meaning to uh, change this up a bit, or actually do it. Can't upgrade, I don't have any upgrades, do I? No. Because today, let's see, Lilo's going to need to um, create another one of those. <clears throat> I don't know OXNYX053 says, attack pattern beta debuffs targets. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I'll get, <clears throat> as I get more into this other, these other characters, I'll, I'm going to change things around, but <clears throat> I haven't gotten into them yet, really. But I am going to use Lilu at the uh, the event again today, because I want to get her some more discovery marks. How are you doing? Are you uh, part of the trucker strike? I heard about like some sort of convoy to Washington or something that people were going to do. Our delivery truck for our store didn't come in when it was supposed to. I don't know if maybe those drivers went on strike or something. I know the ones in Canada have been. So, um... Uh, yeah. What is this? One more of those? <clears throat> mm, yeah, three more. Technically, I could do some TFOs to get her that today, but I'm not going to do that. I'm taking, I'm taking the slow OXNYX053 says, I'd also throw a beam array on the front, but leave the 2 dbb and torp. Hells to the no, I'm not part of the strike. Those are mostly owner-operators. Okay. OXNYX053 says, AFK for a minute. Gotcha. <clears throat> okay, I guess I'll activate this then. Okay, got that. Beam array on the front. Hmm. Leave the uh, two dual beam 
I guess that's what that is, dual beam array. At the top. <coughs> that's just right now, just to get her some weapons on the ship. I mean, I, I had her at nothing. Had like one or two weapons. But I don't I don't want to just <clears throat> cloud up the weapons. I want like certain ones from maybe missions and stuff, you know, to actually put on there, like a mix match of weapons. And make sure I got plenty. Yep, I got plenty of room left. All right. I need to look up some fleet weapons too. I think because she's got enough fleet credits to buy something. <coughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. My people are stuck. <clears throat> That's so stupid. They can't come through the door anymore without you having to be over there with them. Please collect a lot. Fourteen, that ain't bad. Sixteen's not bad either. Okay. Got those two spots. Now let me gather my team. Ninety-eight point nine. Sell on the fringe. Okay, <clears throat> got another instance right here. Maybe I can get um, capture something. And of course, it's going to be. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do that. We'll do go to the park and capture that one. All right. We have to wait for him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Quit being shy or something. What the hell? <clears throat> the best way to get these uh, command credits go after the transports. <clears throat> okay, where are some hidden guys or something? Okay, collected that. Good. Alright, where is the... There's this over here. Always need a good place to dump some credits. <clears throat> Enemy targets on sensor. Flanking damage detected.
wait on them. There's got to be a way to make them run faster. <coughs> Come on, Terzy. Come on, Terzy. Good job. Good job, Terzy. time go through here and actually assign things that will advance the character like I need I still need to do some espionage diplomatic stuff with her trade recruitments and things that's weird because recruitments higher on a lot of my other characters because they're here accepting recruit stuff but she can't for some reason <coughs> OXNYX053 says, Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Alright, let's do the Upiter Eratiati of Bibidabidius, or whatever it is. Eratus. Why not just call it Jupiter? Is it is it a capital I? Lowercase L? Lupiter? Makes sense. No, it's Eupiter? With the I? Epiter? Ipiter? Iupiter? It's time to go fail at this because her ship's not really that powerful. See, I want to. She's a Tetrion only build. So right now she's just kind of default. Not really anything in particular. Because I don't normally use the, them for my ground people for like space stuff but I need her to get some, uh, some discovery marks so that I can get a shield to make her run faster on ground that's the only reason I'm doing this with her and then I'll never probably use her again OXNYX053 says you work at a dollar general I saw they carried a Bob Ross positive energy beverage at one time yeah I work at dollar general Bob Ross Positive Energy? I've never heard of that. Was it like him painting or something? Like a picture of him? Or like a, a headshot of him on the can or something? Dollar General! Where everything's generally a dollar or more. Anything over here that I could probably add? Here they come. All ships, battle stations. Why are you Welcome whispering? In, committee. You should have. We're just here for your data. Hand it over and no one will get hurt. Well, that's better. All ships, engage the Terran fleet. If I could upgrade them, which... Technically, I could probably get some Phoenix upgrade packs from that. This isn't over, Admiral. Believe that. Enterprise, <clears throat> take some ships and take her down. The rest of you, stay alert. This isn't over yet. It's not under either. Either. Neither. Neither. Terran Da Vinci Escort. Activate the hollow projectors. Let's hope they get the job done. 
Defend the hollow projectors as best you can. You need to clear out the ship to Jupiter Station. I need to get in front of them where I can use my weapons. Shut the hell up. Scarvin. Oh, there's stuff over there happening. Yeah, y'all go over there. I'll take care of that. Terrans now control projector beta. We've taken control of projector beta. So Tetrion's good at shields. You need to clear out the ship to Jupiter Station. <clears throat> Target shield has failed. You need to get those rifts under control. Beam overload. We've got hostiles on the station. They're breaching our system. Attack pattern beta. Which one do I have here? Attack pattern omega. Flight speed, turn rate, damage. I thought I had uh, alpha or whatever it was. Beta. Who would have that? Omega? Yeah, I haven't taught any of these, <laughs> these crewmen anything. They're just pretty much using their default stuff. Look at all these dilithium things. We've got hostiles on the station. They're breaching our system. The breaches are what? You talk about paints or shorts? <clears throat> Rifts aren't going to close themselves. Maybe they will if you give them a chance, you bastard. Monroe, do you just got anything now, son? Monroe. Nope. Nope. He ain't even promoted. <laughs> We've got hostiles on the station. They're breaching our system. Tell you, I never use these people. Definitely can tell the speed boost from that. <clears throat> Gamma now. Gamer. We've got hostiles on the station. OXNYF053 says. So much for Riftful Thinking. <laughs> riftful Thinking. Scourge of the Terran Empire. Yay. Yep, yep, hooray. Yep, yep, hooray. Those rifts aren't going to close themselves. Projector Gamma is ours again. Yay. We've locked 
down the projector. Good, because that's a boring ass piece of shit right there, is what I tell you. You still you. here, Grandma? You still here, Grandma? I thought our Janeway was annoying. She is. Speaking of annoying, oh. did you like <coughs> To meet her till he come, till he come. I'll go out to meet her till her come. Back in a bit. Don't go anywhere, okay? <clears throat> well, uh, the way I live my life, I'm not going a damn place, that's for sure. Alright, which one are you going to go for? Over here. The okay. Enterprise is going for projector outlet. The Enterprise is going for projector outlet. Thank you, Polly Parrot. Seeing you, what? She, what? That doesn't normally normally happen, does it? <coughs> Game Invents a bubble. You know what? I'm done here. Ooh, need. Get those for O'Neill. The Enterprise is going for Projector Alpha. The Enterprise is going for Projector Alpha. Projector <laughs> Alpha. The shield vessels are negating your attack on the Enterprise. They are. It's news to me. <clears throat> I don't know why I keep clicking on the torpedo launcher thing. I don't have any torpedoes on this ship. The SS Enterprise. You know what? I'm done here. But we want to destroy you. Well done. All right, discovery marks. 336 or 136 is good. Anything? I'll take that. Sure, whatever. Yeah, I'll take that too. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. <coughs> oh, my old All right. Did I get those in when I said I needed? No, I did not. I don't know why I even have like that need thing. It doesn't work half the damn time, but. All right, reputation for discovery tomorrow, 142, which means I can make another one of those. Need three more, of course, the camp canisters to make that. To give her the shield to run faster, because that's what you need on this ground is faster. Check the exchange, didn't sell anything, but I'm gonna transfer this into the pool. All right. <sighs> and then Michael, Mikael. <clears throat> so you're not part of the strike. I don't even know what they're really striking about. I just had heard that that was going to happen or something. Makes me wonder if Dollar General was somehow involved in it because their truck is two days late. We're gonna go out into the battle zone. Alright, come on, y'all. Come on through the door. 
Loomis, come on. What What is the deal with one person not coming? That's crazy. Come on. Come on, damn it. Come on. You son of a bitch. Good God. Bitty bitty chain chain, bitty bitty chain chain, and bitty chain chain, bitty bitty chain chain. How far are you on all that there? I'm trying to get him to up there to the 250,000. So he can get, uh, what is it? Uh, physical something. Damn it, I forgot already. Physical endurance. Physical conditioning, that's right, to make him run even faster. So that's what I'm trying to do is get my characters to run faster. Caricatures. Inventory damn full, you son of a bitch. Every damn time. I can delete like five or six items and then by the next day it's full again. Come on. OXNYX053 says, what gets me? is over one half the people striking over VASC and mask mandates also are against face recognition. You'd think they would like to be able to wear a mask. That is true. I mean, if yeah, if they're against, like, facial recognition, a mask would hide that. I don't know. It's, it's insane. This whole world's gone nuts. Cardassian Desper Egg, what the hell is that? Oh, yeah, inventory full. I forgot. I need to unfull my inventory for real, Joe. Let's see, get that out of the way, that out of the way. All right. Discard. Discard. Ooh, I've got like an epic thing there. Look at that. And might as well, we're gonna go for, uh, if it's the discovery on that one too. I want him to have that shield as well. <sighs> okay. <sighs> There's something about we're not able to get crackers because the truckers bring those in from Canada. I don't understand. The Bisco is in Canada? I was not aware of that. At least that's the conspiracy thought at the time. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm just not able to make crackers. So everybody's having to do the Clover Valley Dollar General brand. Which there's nothing wrong with those. They're okay. I mean, I have a half a sleeve of them next to me right now. And peanut butter that I don't think I can eat. <clears throat> so I guess I'm going to go on a starvation diet. Where that incident doesn't happen again. Liquid only for a while, I don't know. <sighs> God, I am so tired. <clears throat> so yeah, getting ready for a shift change, sleep pattern different thing there again. Ah, drone, what the hell? I need to get that, uh, whatever that is. Is it a trade or something or whatever? Ah, damn it. I don't like those things. Tell them to go away. OXNYX053 says, liquid only? You mean like my broken tooth diet, which I'm coming off of? <laughs> um, I had an issue a few days ago, and it's concerned me about some things. Severe constipation with vomiting, that sort of situation, that sort of thing. Compacted. So I need to, uh... OXNYX053 says... My kid uses the drone making thing. 
It's amazing. Yeah, I wanted to get it, but it's like the lockbox or probably like buy off the exchange for a high price. <sighs> I think it's odd that, uh, you know, the Federation and everything's like against the Borg assimilating people or whatever, but yet we can use the Borg technology to assimilate other enemies to temporarily do what we want them to do. Turn them into slaves. Don't you shot me. What's that? No, the other OXNYX053 says, prices jumped wonkily when the recruitment thing started. Yo, yeah. <clears throat> I got me a Klingon recruit. I haven't really played him much, though. I, I did a little last night, or after last night. Got him to like level 12 or whatever. Not really into, you know, like certain characters in this game, certain factions. Like Jim Hadar, you know, I don't really play them much. I mean, I do have one that I play every day, but it's the Dilithium, not really the character. But I do have uh, Kolchak, the Night Stalker, the other. Jim Hadar that I don't really care to play. I made the Klingon one, but I don't really care about playing the Klingon stuff again because I've already done that story arc. <coughs> it's just boring. You have to go back through it again. Well, they have added some new stuff or whatever. Like, uh, I don't recall, like, whenever I was using my Yushanka character to play the Klingon whenever I first started with her, um, Kagan didn't speak. I swear he did not have, he, he he had dialogue, but he didn't have a voice, you know. He would just pop up on the screen or something. But now he says stuff. It's like that Toven guy. He says things now. Trojan man. I don't know, today, let's see, I had uh, one of those Starkiss tuna lunch to go things, which is just like tuna fish, uh... Crackers, mayo, and some relish or whatever, you know. A little pack thing. And some pineapple juice. But not hard foods. Because of that compaction. And the first time I ever had to use that enema was the other day. And I do not like that. That was painful. That whole day was a painful day. Remind me of a gallbladder attack. <clears throat> sore from all the vomiting too so there you go still sore and I'm hungry which is bad because there's nothing to really eat but once I get done with all of this it'll be beyond time to eat be too late. So I'm trying to stop eating after midnight. Even though <laughs> that's whenever I can. Other than like have my sandwich every day that I have that I gag down. That's so true. I used to be able to eat a sandwich. OXNYX053 says, Dude, I'm sorry. But Beams and Kiefer, not necessarily together. Beams and Kiefer? Huh? OXNYX053 says, asterisk beans, beans, not beams. <laughs> beans and kefir? What's that? Not necessarily together. Beans. I don't know if I can... I am i can't... I eat beans, but I don't know that I'm supposed to eat them because... You know, I've had my gallbladder taken out back in 2007. And... Um, I've always thought, okay, well, it's out. I can do whatever I want. No, you can't. So I don't know what I really should be eating and what I shouldn't be. All, all I do know is what I get from work on break is not nutrition. It's just processed shit. So <laughs> I'm kind of screwed there. I never have time to go to a grocery store. It's always closed after I get off work or, or either I sleep through the day before I can go. 
or get called in before I can go. Like I, I can have a whole day dedicated to what I'm gonna do, and they're like, "Oh, we're we gonna, we need you to come in." Okay. One of those long days too, like to take up the whole day. Kiefer, like Sutherland. Anything else for this? No. Discovery you got fifty. <coughs> That should start this off here. OXNYX053 says, legumes slash beans, baked and other types. They're a protein rich complex carb, and lack of gallbladder safe. Wife has hers out. How long has she had hers out? Who doesn't have. Some, what is that? Dyson Heavy Combat Armor. Who, why Why don't I have anybody using that? What the hell? Let me get it out of my inventory. Dr. Loom Ass. He's a Loom Ass. Dr. Lame Ass. Yeah, we'll give you that shield. I don't know who you are. Carl. Larry. Larry Strode. We're going to give you some. OXNYX053 says. Let me check my resume. <laughs> yeah, some people like do okay with the gallbladder out thing. I I was I'm not one of them. Of course, I don't eat properly anyway. I have the world's worst diet when it comes to stuff. Fatty liver disease, that sort of situation. Two four zero zero zero. And now, since I was sick the other week. With diarrhea. And now I, the other day, it was the compacted constipation that I'd never had. Those stools have not been normal for a while. And they go pale. They say that's a bad sign. Well, that's been um, me for years. So I thought, okay, whatever. Oh, I am really. Oxnyx053 says. Spring of 2004, wow. so almost 16 years. What kind of issues was she having with it? Was it gallstones or sludge or diseased? Mine was diseased and was told was killing me. So it had to come out. Why is it one person keeps staying in there? I don't get it. OXNYX053 says... Pain and nausea. Pain and nausea. Was she uh, having like? Oxnyx053 uh, says gallstones. Was she having the attacks? Like it feel like someone just stabbing you like in the um, the right side all the way through, like like a spear. I always imagined a spear like going through my body whenever I had those attacks. Vomiting up. Things weren't digesting properly. Boy, did they ever after the fact, though. Man. And they said, oh, you may have some anal seepage. I'm like, what the hell? So then they're like, eat fiber. Then you look it up. You're not supposed to have it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Depending on where you read and stuff. It's like, you're not supposed to, but you are supposed to. I was I was eating like, uh, like um, rolled oats, you know, for a while there to try to help with all that. Cholesterol increased after the gallbladder came out. Fun times. Constant dripping of the bile. Such an awesome thing. My god, the liver can produce so much of that shit. The other day, whenever I had that super constipation and stuff, man, I was vomiting out just everything. And when I didn't have anything, like an hour later, dude, I'd had a bunch. You know? I was thinking, this shouldn't be that much in there. But I guess it was trying to force out whatever was blocking so it kept overproducing. It knows what it wants to do. Because the liver is like its own little entity that lives inside of us. It has so many functions, too. So crazy. Ox.
Yeah. Maybe if I had like a way to plan a meal or to actually go to a grocery store and buy real food. Hmm. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. OXNYX053 says, Quinoa is anther thing you should eat. Quinoa, yeah. Um, someone was mentioning that before. I think I've actually had some of that. Is it white? Like a uh, flowery fake potato thing or something? Like a... Uh, Looks like rice or something like that. I mean, my two choices right now, if I wanted to have something to eat, is leftover fried fish from two, what, two days ago. OXNYX053 or sliced three pizza. says, can be. I'd call it a cross between rice and tapioca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've had some of that before. Or was that, like, w another thing was like fake spaghetti with the... Uh, it's not cauliflower, it's something else. You like split open and it's like stringy, like, like uh, pasta or something. You can use that to eat tomato pasta type stuff instead of what the hell was that I can't remember but yeah looks like the only food I can eat is junk food <clears throat> it was really crazy like whenever I was like running 104 degree fi or well it's 103 to 102 OXNYX degree. OXNYX053 says I'm having leftover chicken alfredo on lentil based ziti. Chicken alfredo, oh my god. Mm. Awesome. That's awesome. I don't know what the other part of that is. <laughs> Lentella based zinti. Ugh, damn it. Is this a dead guy standing? What the hell? But whenever I was uh, having that week of vomiting, uh, it wasn't super vomiting though, it was just every once in a while. Severe diarrhea temperature and all that good stuff. I ate chicken noodle soup all the time, you know. And since I live at home still with my mom, but I do pay rent and pay whatever kind OXNYX of bills she needs. OXNYX053 says, the lentil-based ziti leaves a lot to be desired. Lentil is a legume, so in Tay Bean family, ziti is a type of pasta shape. Longish tubes. It could have been that. <clears throat> But during the my little ordeal, my mom comes in and she's like, "Hey, are you hungry?" And I'm like, uh, "Yeah, but I don't know what I could eat, you know, because with all this going on." She goes, "Well, we got some fish out here we just fried. You want some of that?" I'm thinking, "No, <laughs> no, thank you, no, no, no." Sixteen and eight is nowhere near what I need. Shit. What do I have? Only 16, so no. I am not. I'm going to save up some more. Let's see. Other places need capturing. Outskirts. <sighs> oh, I can recapture this. Look, it just changed. Or did it. So here it's uh, that, but here it's changed. I don't know. I got to use the uh, DVR today in, in the office. First time to put a 
video onto a USB stick from from the CCTV cameras. Oh boy, I had to figure it out too. It had there was no instructions. You know, like the, the ones that we had for instructions were for like an older unit. You know. it said insert the CDR here. You're like, there is no CDR area. And then whenever it was copying files over, it said burning to disk. You're like, seriously? <laughs> it's just copying to a USB stick. This is burning to disk. <clears throat> Old shit. Gotta love it. Okay, reputation. Still needed to discover you for that. Delta getting up there. Call her Delta Burt. And I don't think I have any more. So Delta, Iconian, Nukara. Okay, I have some of those, so I need to use that up. Yeah, we're going to max that. I think we're going to max it. What, what did we get with this? Is it anything really? Vulnerability, Dumble, okay. Dumbable rank 2, what does that do? Increase hit points, like I care about that. Fortify hull, emergency fix, cryo, auxiliary power configuration defense, offense, refracting, tetrion, cascade. Why, well, whatever, might as well. We get dilithium from it. Just go ahead. <sighs> yep. Good. I have got to rest. <clears throat> Hard. We got like three dogs that live in the house. They're always barking at bullshit. I got a young one thinks she's got to be the one to just tell everybody hello, morning. We have a male that runs outside the back in the fenced area and has to tell them everybody hello in the morning. Barks at the wind, I guess. And they're making noise. Squeezing balls, making junk happen. I hear my mom always going, telling the dog, Get down! Get off of me! Get down! Because one of them loves to jump up. Because it was from a previous owner that allowed it. <coughs> so we're trying to break her that habit for years, and it, it's not working. And get a fly swatter and just show it to her and she'll calmly walk away and then come back in five seconds like, oh, hey, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> you know? Got a uh, party balloon error upper thing and use that sometimes to keep her away. Or just make the sound like, tss, 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 you know? Tss, tss, tss. And she's like, runs off thinking you're spraying her with something. <coughs> Okay. What does her shift look like? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Right there, sugar mama. Plasma, right? Yeah. She's plasma only build. Beam. You know, Neil's going to get a gift <coughs> that I made him using my main character. Okay. Cause he, let's see. Nope, ran out of marks there. Getting marks here. Could have sworn I had him higher. Oxnyx053 says, "I think you are confusing simple and complex carbs." Back to your station. The bots have returned. I'm confusing a lot of stuff because I stay confused in real life. What is it? I was looking at. Okay, yeah, I was going to look at this ship. That's right. He's got that. I wanted to do cannons. That's the cannon build that I want to do with him. So I need to have him go up to small craft. Simple and complex. A potato is which one? 
pasta, I don't know. Which OXNYX053 says, fair point. Fair point. I mean, I'm a massive confusion all the damn time. It's mostly due to work. I told, I double clicked on that. Where the hell did it go? Okay, right there. Wide beam. Is that the same thing? Nope. Entanglement phase. Prolonged entanglement. Versus that. Can I upgrade? Do I have any upgrade tokens? What's that? Superior. Hmm. Move that back over here to inventory. Let's see about upgrading. OXNYX053 nope. says T6 of Terran rep offers a phaser DHC. Phaser DHC T6 rep Terran? Um, how far away am I for that? Terran, I'm at tier 4, no marks. So I ran out of marks. But I do have the Klingon recruit that I'm slowly working on. That hopefully I can get marks from using that too. <clears throat> okay, beam back down to. I can't read it because my chat box is covering that up. Let me turn it off real quick. Leave interior, okay. Yeah, the chat box. 50% transparency hovering over that little bottom corner area, about midway. On the right there. That way I can read and hear it. See, I used to know a lot about the whole carbs things and whatnot, but I got lazy. I get stopped caring. Depression happened. That sort of shit. All I know is, it's like sometimes I could eat and not feel full. You know, like, still have starving pains. Like, my body's craving something that I do not get a chance to have. So you end up snacking and snacking and snacking, trying to fill a void. That's why I actually just ate some rice that was left over uh, the other night. And that was, like, the night before I actually had that problem. The other night. I don't know if I compacted myself with just rice or what. OXNYX053 says that is often simple dehydration. Well, I drink water like a some bitch, that's for sure. I got bottles of water. I used to drink tap out of it, but you can't really trust that anymore. So I like down a bottle, three or four bottles of water a night during the day and drinking water. But yeah. And I had some of that during my ordeal of the super diarrhea and fever. Uh, had some of that. It's like. What the hell you call that shit? Damn it. It's, it's the off brand version, the Pedialyte or whatever. That we have at Dollar General. That shit's nasty. It tastes like an athlete. Sweat into a bottle. OXNYX053 says, Sodium intake? I'm drinking one half water, one half Gatorade. I try to cut back on my sodium because of my blood pressure. <clears throat> so it's mostly whatever I intake is like. OXNYX053 says, Pedia sure? I don't know. It's it's a Dollar General version, whatever that is. The, in the baby section. <laughs> That's uh, that shit tastes nasty though. It's it's like it's I swear it's like an athlete, like just sweat into a bottle and you're drinking the sweat. That's what it. That's what it. Just in my head, that's what I associate it as. <clears throat> but I I drank that during my super. Um, I don't know. There's there's something going around because other people are getting the same thing too. That the diarrhea thing or whatever, and fever for a few days or whatever like that. Like a stomach thing but mine mine always turns out to be something else like it it, uh, it does that plus something else which I haven't had anything like that happen in a long damn time I don't really often get sick but here lately have been 
think COVID or whatever. Never got tested for it though, but I did. Re I retained a temperature for several days, and I mean like five to six days of 102, 101, that sort of thing. OXNYX053 says, "Do you know what Milo or Anther water modifier? Liquid Crystal Light, maybe. Add that for flavor." We got Milo's sweet tea at work. Crystal Light, yeah, we sell Crystal Light. The little packets you put in, um, in water. I mean, we have water, like bottled water at work because you can't drink out of the fountain, especially now since whenever the power went out, it killed the outlet and reset it. And so now we can't get anyone to come replace the outlet on the wall. So the water fountains don't work, which is really weird because I figured water fountains would work anyway. It just wouldn't cool, but evidently they have a pump in there to make the water pressure even more. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, we have um, bottled water that we store use and drink out of. It's just the Dollar General junk. Bottled uh, by Niagara in Canada. So I guess we won't be getting any bottled water for a while. Since it comes from Canada. But it's basically Niagara water. It's got Dollar General's Clover Valley branding on it. Tilk's unconscious. What happened to Tilk? Carter, wake Tilk up. You're right there. Wake Tilk up, Carter. Wake him up. Why are you coming over here? Go over there and wake Tilk up. Uh. Carter, you get right here. Okay, never mind. I guess since I'm right here, I'll do it. Yeah. And usually, like, if I would go on break at work, I'd have, like, a um, a body armor drink with the light version, which is, like, less sugar. So, but I've been drinking, like, pineapple juice. I think it's Del Monte or Del Monte, whatever it's called. <clears throat> Which we've run out of because everybody likes the shit too. So now the only thing got left is pineapple juice with orange flavoring. Artificial flavoring. Gotta love artificial. Meal planning and all that. I need to. I need to do that, but I never can because you make anything, it's, it may not be there the next day in the refrigerator. You never know. Or everybody, everyone's asking you, what are you making? What you doing? You're making that for us? We're going to eat it. <laughs> My sister used to do meal prepping all the time because she used to be like, be like into fitness and health and all that. And I don't think she even has time for it. <clears throat> five of five. Nice. And she's got like about 12 dogs. One just had a litter of puppies too, so that's like, what, 22? So she had 10 more. She has this habit of collecting animals. Did I collect enough of stuff? Let's see. Alert condition red. Alert condition red. Red alarm. Nice. Has it been two? Yes. Okay, captured two. Let's go. <clears throat> We're about to have a remodel happen at our store on the 27th, 28th, and 1st. A lot of Dollar Generals are going to be doing the remodel this whole year, I've been told. Dang you, I didn't even mean to come through this one. Okay. We're going to be open during it, too, so that's going to be fun. 
everybody getting in everyone else's way while they're shopping and people moving things. Can't do it at night like normal people. I need to look up and see what the stores are called. They're, they're NCI, but I don't know what the hell that means. There's no, like, documentation about it. And the person was saying, well, by the end of the year, Dollar General is going to make sure all the stores are NCI stores or fresh stores, and except for maybe 5% of them. Like, okay. Which is true, they're starting to put like fresh food, vegetables, and bullshit inside of them. Which would be probably beneficial to me, however, we're not getting it. We're just getting a regular, it's like a Bed Bath Beyond type setup. Where they put more sheets and, they call it furniture. In a four foot section we're going to have furniture. Yeah, like a, like a shelf, you know, a shelf unit that's maybe like 16 inches deep and about 60 inches tall and that's gonna be our furniture section what kind of shit will we have <laughs> we're gonna have couches no tables probably really tiny ones <laughs> just reminds me of uh, years ago at work when I worked at the other Dollar General this woman came in and um, she was OXNYX like, uh, 053 says, Dollar General is expanding its non-consumable initiative, NCI. Non-consumable. Is that what it really means? Do you know what it, it do you really know what it means? Non-consumable initiative. It sounds about right. <clears throat> but um this woman had come in years ago. And she uh, came up to the register, and she says, These little end tables right here, are they pretty good? I said, What end tables? She goes, These. And she showed me the box. OXNYX053 Oh, you says, Googled it. I Googled it. Dude, I didn't even Google that shit. It shows you how much I care about the business. But uh, she showed me the box. And it's it's like a you know pretty decent-sized box. It was maybe like uh, 24 by 36 by like, you know, maybe... Eight inches thick or something like that. And I said, "Wow, I didn't even know we had that." And I said, "Hold on a minute, let me look at that." And I looked and it read off. I said, "Are you sure you want to get this for like end tables for your furniture?" She goes, "Yeah, my couch. You know, I, I, I've been wanting a, an end, uh, end tables or whatever for it." And I said, L "Look at the dimensions on the box of how big this thing is. It said 18, 18, and 12." Meaning it was 18 by 18 and 12 tall. And she goes, 12? And I said, I think I know what this actually is. Because there was a picture there with this, you know, it looked in the picture like this thing was level with the arm of the couch, you know. And um, So uh, I said, let me, let me show you something. So I turn around, I bend over, and I pick up this little tiny 18 by 18 by 12. It looks like a little tiny table. It's a little, little, little short thing. And I said... This is an end table from something we sell. And she looked at it and she said, that's exactly what this is. I'm not buying that. That's too short. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I, I I made sure, you know, I said, I don't blame you. I wouldn't buy it either. So I, I, I yeah, I downselled instead of upselled that day and that made the manager mad. But I, was, I kept saying, I was like, dude, you know, you put two of these together, it's like 24 inches tall. It's like two feet, at least for a couch. Comes with two end tables, and these things are on the floor, pretty much. It's just, just junk. And I hope they don't put that shit in our store. Well, it's already kind of there. I mean, I, I got like a, a, a clothes hanger bar thing, you know, with the wheels or something, because um, I was gonna, I was saying, okay, if I'm gonna have work clothes and pretty much be in those all the damn time, I'm just gonna put my normal clothes in the closet, in the dresser. And just have my work clothes hang on this, you know, where I can just pull one off or whatever like that. And uh, so I bought the, the bar with the wheels, and it's an adjustable bar one. And I thought, okay, this is pretty good, you know. And it seems stable until I put clothes on it. On you know, I got little like hangers, and I put one polo shirt on it. 
and it collapsed. And I was like, what the hell? And I don't mean like it fell over. I just mean like the sides, so you can adjust the sides to be tall or short by just like pushing up and there's this like little little binder plastic thing that pops in, you know. That, and it wasn't holding the bind, so I was like, that sucks. So I got my drill out and I found some screws or some bolts and things and I, I bolted it high or up or whatever to hold all of that. And um, so I was like, okay, let me continue to do this. I put more shirts on there, put my pants on there, that sort of thing. It was it was pretty full, but not too full or whatever. It fell over and it broke at the leg by having the weight on it. So I was like, dude, I'm not advertising people buy this shit. So whenever people would, uh, somebody would come up with that, I said, you sure you want to buy that? They said, what are you talking about? I said, let me tell you a story about this thing. <laughs> They said, no, I don't want that. And then they, the manager get pissed off at me again, you know, because I would down sell instead of up sell and promote a sale kind of situation. But it's junk. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to buy junk. I would, I would want somebody to be honest with me. And whenever I would tell people this stuff, they would still come in and buy certain things, but they would, they, they would thank me for, like, talking them out of buying the junk. It's like um, around heater season, you know, where you, like it's cold and you got to buy a heater. The return policy at Dollar General is just so fucked up that I don't recommend anyone buy a heater from them at all. Because pretty much if you don't keep the receipt and you don't open the box, you can bring it back and get your money back on it. But if you open that son of a sucker up, you can only exchange it for the same model heater. If you have the receipt. And if you don't have a receipt, you're stuck with it. You can't bring it back. You can't exchange it. Nothing. So it's 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 stupid. And so this guy had come in one day. And um, he said he needed a heater. You know. And I said, you'd probably be better off getting one at Walmart. He goes, why? Don't y'all have heaters here? And I said, yeah. He said, well, what's wrong with it? And I said, it's not the heater that's has, it's the problem. Let me read off to you. The uh, return policy. So I read it off to him, you know. And he's like, I don't want to buy no heater from here if I can't bring it back if it don't work. And I said, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, my manager, of course, had heard me talk to this guy. And she says, Brandon, come into the office. That's my name. I said it again. Ooh. -oh. And so I went into the office. She, like, scolds me about the heater stuff or whatever like that. And I'm like, um... All right. You know, I won't do it again, I swear. I won't read off to them the return policy when they ask me to read it off to them. So when people would come in and ask about the return policy on the heater, I'd say, I can't tell you. I'm not supposed to tell you. <laughs> and that would make the manager even worse mad. So then, like, someone wanted me to, and they said, do it just anyway, because I want, I want to hear what the return policy is. So the manager was standing there, and I read it off to them. And they said, "Well, that don't seem fair." And she she comes over there. And she's like, "But, but, but, um, I'll I'll allow you to bring that back if it doesn't work, you know, and get your money back. I'll 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 go against that policy." Like, okay, all of a sudden you're just changing shit on us. But I'm I'm a bad sales associate type person, you know. If somebody asks me my their honest opinion on something we sell, and I will tell them not to buy shit. It's like um, years ago, again, but before Bluetooth in a vehicle or anything like that, I was driving, um, what was it, my sister's Mustang that she'd given me because she got her a new vehicle, which the Mustang was actually my mom. She's the one that had bought it for my sister, used, of course, um, and so I got to drive it while I was working on my Volkswagen. Um, and I wanted to listen to in the music from my phone, but the radio in it was just either you plug in like a cassette, you know, into the player and then the auxiliary cable to your phone or whatever. Or I thought, hey, we sell tra uh, FM transmitters at Dollar General. I'm going to try one of those out. No, I don't recommend that. I got it. Of course, it was the corded kind. Now they had the Bluetooth, which is probably better. I don't know. Um, I got the, the that one. I, I plugged it in, like you know, you plug it into the cigarette lighter or whatever to give it power. Um, 
plug it, the auxiliary cable from it to the phone and tell it what kind of like station. I think it was set for a certain one or you had like a few s different ones you can set it to. And the quality was shit. I was like, this thing sucks ass. I got to thinking, why does it suck? I looked at the auxiliary cable. This thing was really tiny, thin. Like, you know, you could break this so easily. So I went inside and I bought like a GE auxiliary cable, which was thicker and better. And the quality was a whole lot better, too, of the sound and everything. So I was thinking, okay, so it's it's auxiliary cable with this thing. And then, like, a week later, the whole device just shut off itself and stopped working. So I was like, never mind then. So I ended up getting the the whole, like, the cassette with the wire, you know, and used that instead. And Yeah. The old ways are the best ways when it comes to that. So every time someone would come in and ask about a FM transmitter, I'd talk about a buying one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dude, I just I was always pissing my my manager off. You need to stop doing that. We gotta sell that stuff. I said I won't sell shit to people. Always getting threatened with write ups. But hey, people like they enjoyed my company. Whenever like customers would come in, they loved talking to me. They'd stay in there for like you know, 30 minutes to about an hour wanting to talk to me just about anything. And they'd keep coming back. They'd buy stuff and they'd keep coming back or whatever. And um, my manager would get mad saying, you need to get back to work and stop talking to all these people. And I said, isn't our job to like, uh, you know, talk to people, you know, to help the customers out and stuff. So she got, to, she told me, she said, well, in policy it states that you're only allowed 30 seconds to help a customer with what they need. Other than that, you need to get back to work and like pick up a box, put out the freight, or go check or something like that on the register. I'm like, 30 seconds? That's not long enough to help somebody. Sometimes you got to give minutes to these people. you got to give like tens of minutes at some time. And I thought, no. I said, no, if they need help longer than that, I'm going to help them. I'm sorry. You know. So I was getting in trouble because of that, too. You know, because sometimes you have to, like... You know, get a ladder, whatever, and get something off the top shelf or whatever like that. You know, or or have an elderly person that comes in and wants you to help shop with them. And um, I was like, sometimes you got to do that. Or you have someone that can't get out of their vehicle, you know, because they're mobile or whatever. And um, so they give you like a shopping list and they're... They give you the cash or whatever, and you, you go in there and you shop for them and you get it, and you pay for it, and you take the stuff out to them and they're changed. I mean, there's several times like that. And so the whole 30-second or whatever rule does not apply. So I, I just refused, you know, and I was always getting threatened with write-ups for refusing to follow that policy. And I was like, no, no, no. If, if this business is all about customer service, then we need to service the customer instead of uh, ignoring them. Which now we have, uh, which our store doesn't have it, but most stores have a self-checkout now that can ignore a customer and let them check them damn self out. <laughs> but I've always like, uh, always like talking to people when they come through the line. I mean, it's like one of the whole reasons I went to like work in retail really was to get out of the depressive funk of and then the anxiety of social anxiety or whatever, you know, just being around people. That Using that to be around them. What the hell? Why are there enemies here? They're supposed to be turned off. Another Dyson Sphere tragedy. All three silos are Yay. under allied control. Excellent work. Hooah! So one day, um, I look at the manager, and uh, I, ta I, I tell her, I said, why do you keep me here if you don't like me? She goes, what do you mean? I, I, don't, I don't not like you. I said, yeah, but you didn't say you like me here or not. She said, well, you entertain the customers. I'm like, hmm, okay. <laughs> That's my whole point of being there then. 
So I would uh, I would get into like a little type of funny co- comedy type situation where I'd treat each customer like a guest on the Johnny Carson show. They'd come up to me, and if I knew their name, it says, "Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome so and so to the show." And they'd look at me like weird and stuff, and I'd press the conveyor button because we had a conveyor belt. I'd bring their stuff up to the like thing, and I'd check it out, and I'd ask them questions and stuff like that, and and I, I'd look out into nowhere, and I'd say, "We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsor." <laughs> and they would like go, "Are you all right?" It's like, "Yeah, I'm fine. Why?" You're just talking to nobody. I'm like, well, yeah, you know. You got to do that when you work here. Today, somebody was telling me that I need to watch uh, some sort of Trailer Boys thing or something. I, what was that called? Because <sighs> I, I mentioned that show Letter Kenny to this guy. And uh, this dude, he's hilarious to talk to. He's real countrified, you know, and everything. But he was talking about some sort of like Trailer Boys or something. A show that used to come on a long time ago, I guess. And he said it was a Canadian show. Like, you know, because Letterkenny's a Canadian show. <clears throat> but yeah. That's mostly what I enjoy about the job, I guess, is talking to people. Conversing, laughing with customers, that sort of thing. Not not so much the physical work of the job, you know, doing stuff, but the helping part. You know, I'd get into like a whole thing, like someone would come in with some sort of crafty project that they were wanting to do or, or some sort of problem-solving thing they wanted to do at their home. and I'd come up with an idea for how to do that, you know. And I said, well, you know, you can get this, this, put this together and do that. And it's the same thing as if you bought the whole thing itself. And they're like, well, that seems like a lot of trouble. I'm like, uh-huh. Like they were looking for mailbox uh, letters, you know, you put on your mailbox. And I said, well, you know, you can always, um, like, buy these little things here, uh, cut cut out to shape or whatever. Like I said, well, you can. I said, do you have a printer and a computer at home? And they were like, yeah. And I said, what you do is... You go into, like, Notepad or Word or whatever, and you just, like, you know, type 0 all the way to 9 or however many times you need to, print that out, get some cardstock paper, and then put that down and get an X-Acto knife and cut around it on the inside or whatever and leave little slits here or there for, the, like, the circle in the middle of this. And and then I said, now then what you do after that, just get you some spray paint or whatever and just use stencil painting, you know, and do that. And they're like... That sounds like a lot of trouble. We're like, uh-huh, okay, well, never mind. <laughs> you know, and I'd go into this whole thing, like, I'd go down the aisle and start gathering up the stuff to show the customer what they could use. And um, By the time I'd get back up to the register, well, they've already checked out and left, and I'm like, well, shit. Never mind then, I guess. Damn. And then someone was like, you know, wanting to do some sort of thing or whatever before. And I said, you can get you some pipe cleaners and tie them together this way and that way or whatever like that and come up with that whole thing yourself, you know. And they're like, yeah, I could do that, but do y'all, do y'all not sell the thing, like the kit? I'm like, no, we don't. And it was always just dissatisfying. People don't create anymore. That was always just so sad. Like, the craft sections we have in the store barely get touched. They only, like, you know, if if there's school needs and kids need, like, well, I guess the parents need the the stuff to do the thing for their kid. I always did my own thing, but nowadays parents do the, the science fair projects for their kids or whatever, which is not really a project. It's just junk. Um... I'll, I'll even, like, you know, talk about, you know, using certain things, you know. Like, uh, we, we sell Mod Podge now, which is for, uh, like, scenery stuff, or, like, it's a type of glue, and real thick glue used for making projects and whatnot. And nobody's interested. They're looking for specific things. We had a guy come in the other day. He was, he was looking for uh, some colored twine. He needed... Green and orange. And I said, well, we don't have that, but we have uh, yarn for some reason. He goes, no, that won't work. And I said, well, we've got um, 
just white nylon string slash rope. I mean, I said, well, it, but it ain't colored, is it? It's like, no. And he goes, well, I need it colored. I'm thinking, dude, get a stretch of it and some damn spray paint and paint the shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Or, or like a marker or some shit. No, no, he needed that. So he said he was going to go to the hardware store and find two of those exactly or whatever. I'm like, okay, whatever. What happened to the imagination? What happened to doing it your damn self? It's too much work these days. <sighs> so I just, I kind of just stopped, like, suggesting. Unless I get really excited. I, I'll sometimes, like, get like real bright-eyed and excited and someone see it in my face. Like, you've got an idea, don't you? And I'm like, yes. And they would never like it. I said, i tell you what. I'll do it here, and you come back, you can pick it up or whatever. You know, they're like, nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Mm. The disappointment in people's faces whenever they can't just have it right then. Oh, yeah, and, and tonight, man, dude, we were uh, busy doing something toward the back of the store. <clears throat> and uh, suddenly there was like a, some paper towels just sitting up on the register and nobody was there. So we're like, huh, okay, that's, that's, that's interesting, that's weird. Nobody called for us, you know, to say, hey, we're ready to check out or anything. And we were inside of the register and never saw anybody because we would glance and, like, do our thing and, you know, what we were doing back there. And, um, we were cleaning off a shelf to get ready for this reset. Um, and then all of a sudden, like, there's a phone call from somebody saying that so-and-so's sister or somebody's, or their sister, come up there and had a problem with our store tonight and wanted to talk to the manager. We're like, what problem? We don't, we don't recall any kind of problem happening. So, so in the morning, this, whoever this person is, his sister that had the problem that's not going to talk on the phone about the problem wants to come and talk to the manager about it. Well, you go right ahead. It's probably because we weren't right there at the register when they wanted us to be there. Probably impatient. And you see that a whole hell of a lot. I mean, it, it can be... It, it's, it's insane, right? Like, um... There'll be nobody at the, to, to be checked out at the register area. Nobody. Not in any site whatsoever. And we're, we're told, you know, by company policy, do not just stand there. You have to be out on the sales floor doing something. You know, sign tasks and do this while you're not here. Of course, nobody ever remembers the policy or follows the policy about being able to see the register at all times because there's always something you have to do away from it where you can't see it. I mean, one person, you're all over the store helping somebody. You can't see the damn register. And then people, then they'll like, you know, you'll see nobody there. They're like, okay, I have this time. I can go over here and grab this box, put this freight out or whatever. As soon as you pick up a box, someone says, anybody checking out up here? You're like, how? Why? No, it's like just a few seconds and all of a sudden someone's there. Or what, what gets me... This happened just the other day when I was at the register checking, and it's happened several times before. This woman was in line. These other two people were behind her in line. They can hear me talking. They can hear her talking. Well, she buys her stuff, and it turns out she needs to get some more money. So she says, well, let me go out to my car and get some more money. I said, okay. So as soon as she walks away, the lady behind her sets her stuff up there and says, are you going to check me out? It's like, um, this, the lady that just left went to go get some more money. She goes, oh, oh, she did? Oh, okay. Um, well, well, I guess I had to wait then. I was like, yeah, I'm not done checking her yet. And then, then this guy, like, pops up to the other side, having stood there and heard me say this to this lady. And he sets his stuff up there. He says, you gonna check me out? I was like, no, this lady just said, I'm thinking, where the hell was everybody at right here? And this is, like, within a six-foot radius, you know. Like, what the fuck? Nobody paying attention. 
So then the lady comes in and she pays for her stuff. And then the guy that had just told her, told him that this lady went to get the money. He says, oh, she went to go get some money to pay for her stuff? And I said, yeah. He goes, oh, okay. I'm thinking, I just told you this. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Or we'll turn a light off. Like, we'll have the register light on depending on who's, like, checking. Nobody sees these lights. May ignore them. So we'll, we'll turn off one of them and say, okay, this register's down. It's rebooting or whatever like that. And they'll put their stuff there anyway and says, uh, you going to check me out? Like, this this register's rebooting. It's going to it's gonna take, a, like, five minutes or whatever, you know, because it's slow. And it says, well, well how long is that going to take? And I said... Barrisker 22 has started stalking you. Oh, hello. Barrisker 22 has started stalking you. Thank you. Barrister 22. Hello. But it's just it's just a it's so crazy these people, you know, that, that don't pay attention. It's it just gets me every damn time. I can't I can't figure it out. <clears throat> All right, that should be enough to get that plus that right there. We get a lot of uh, times whenever we'll talk about that we just can't today. We we can't do today, you know, because of the random craziness. You know, it's one of the things, too. Okay, we sell propane. It's outside like it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be inside. It's in a caged, like, bin that's locked up. Ice is sitting next to it, too. Ice machine, you know. People will, like, pull up. They'll walk right in front of it. Both of these things. Come inside and ask, Y'all sell propane here? Y'all sell ice here? Is that a trick question? You just walked right in front of it. I mean, hello? <laughs> like, you're like, oh no, I didn't see that. You're like, okay, yeah, you didn't see it. All right, it's a snake or something to bit you. Yeah. Or um, the ice machine. There's, we have two ice machines. Therefore, there are t there are four locks in total to unlock these things. We usually leave one door unlocked on each machine. Well, um, somebody will come in. They'll say, I'd like to get some ice. You're like, okay. So we'll scan that, you know, for ice or whatever like that. And they'll say, where's it at? You're like, okay, you just walk, whatever. I said, it's outside on this other side of this wall, whatever, you know. And uh, they'll say, is it unlocked? You're like, yes, it's unlocked. One door each is unlocked on it. They'll go outside. They'll come back in and say, them doors are locked on that ice out there. And we'll look like to the side where the locks are inside because we bring them in so that people don't steal them or replace them or whatever like that. And um, the locks are there. So and I'll go, huh, that's weird. So I'll walk outside with them. It says, it doesn't look like it's locked. He goes, oh, that side's unlocked. You're like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure is. Hmm, go figure. <laughs> what the fuck just happened here? It's just insanity. Small things. I always, always like, you know, it's it's always a funny moment. And I don't laugh at people. I just laugh at the, the situation of it. Where um, I'll be down an aisle doing whatever. And uh, this person will walk up and they'll say, Hey, where's your blah, 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 whatever at? I'm like, it's right there. And I'll point down to the, where their feet are or just like to the side. And they're literally right next to it. They go, oh, wow, it's right there. I've been walking all over the store looking for it and thinking, you think you should just come and ask somebody. Or they'll go, where are your crackers at? I'm like, right there. Oh, okay. Where's your bread at? You're know, like, you, you're you right in front of it. I mean, you're right there. Do you not see it? And these people are driving down the road. Yeah, I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. 
OXNYX053 says, I used to work, live, at a big box store. Back when we had cigarettes where the shoppers could grab packs. People would asking where we kept them while leaning on the display. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, yes. I can, yeah, I totally can relate to that. <laughs> Get people like looking at the cigarette case we have at work or whatever. And the same one, like people like that get the certain one or whatever like that they know where it's at inside that cabinet but yet if we're out they'll say uh i'd like to get a pack of blah 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 whatever like that you're like we're out of them they look up there and they go no you ain't there's some right there and like this because oh no you are out aren't you and like yeah oxnyx053 says i hear they're working on a clerk's three yeah they um they filmed it back in was it like August or September up there in uh, New Jersey? Because uh, Jason Mews, you know, the place Jay, um, <clears throat> he was uh, in the middle of his fortnight that he would do. He um, he would talk about like, you know, they, he just got through filming some scenes or something. And people would ask him, like, what were they? And he said, we couldn't talk about it or whatever. But he was always playing Fortnite. And he's probably playing it right now. But, um, yeah, I, I'm excited to see it because I know that, um, you know, Kevin Smith's been getting a lot of hate and grief about, like, He-Man and all that kind of stuff. But Clerks, you know, that's his baby. And um, Jay and Silent Bob and all those characters. And they finally got, like, the, char the, the actors that didn't want to do it in on it. So that's, that's pretty, pretty awesome. I can't wait for it because it's going to be back at the store, you know. Because, like, you know, Clerks 1, he filmed it in black and white because it was supposed to be, like, the art project type uh, Sundance videos, you know, directorial thing. And he thought black and white would be a good, uh, like, a Hitchcocky type to it, you know. And um, that was pretty cool. And then, like, Clerks 2 happened away from the store. So then the store's coming back. So that's pretty awesome. I like Clerks. That way we can hear Dante say, I'm not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> I watched the, I don't know if you ever saw it. It was the, um, the cartoon clerks. It was only like six episodes, but, uh, it had a little bit of humor in it. And, um, you know, in the first movie, whenever Dante and Randall talked about going to, um, it was some person's house that had a funeral or something, and, and you see him in the car coming away from it, and they're talking about like, or Randall's like, "Well, I didn't know they were having a funeral or whatever." Like, it was something to do with a funeral. And um, in Clerks cartoon, they have like a little flashback of that exact scene that did that would have happened if they had filmed it, you know, in live action. But it's it's in the cartoon version about what happened to make them have to leave so fast. And they always had like Jay and Silent Bob in the cartoon just like doing miscellaneous things and running in and just like talking about stuff and then leaving. They had um let's see. I for I forget the fictional like place that Clerks is supposed to take place in in New Jersey. It's like a made up town name or something or city name but uh the mayor of it was voiced by Alec Baldwin but it was based off of Alec Alan Rickman or whatever I think that's his name that played in Harry Potter and also played in Die Hard as uh, the as uh what's his name um Hans but he it, it was modeled after oh damn it look at these people already taking that over his character, his his cartoon character, was modeled after Alan Rickman, but voiced by Alec Baldwin. And it was there's this uh, one episode where um, I don't know, I can't remember if it's Jay or if it's Randall that talked this guy into like buying these um, out of date burritos, and the guy gets sick, and he's talking about like. OXNYX053 says. Rickman was also Metatron in Dogma. Yeah, he was Metatron, and yeah, 
Yeah, I remember that. Dogma was such a cool movie. I liked it. A lot of people hated it, but, uh, you know, I, I liked it. Um, but in, uh, in the cartoon, it's like, uh, I think Randall keeps telling him that, uh, in order for him to feel better, he has to eat another burrito. So he keeps eating these burritos and getting worse. And it's, it, the guy is like, the character is like supposedly the mayor of the town or city or something. Yeah, I miss that. They should have made some more episodes of that. But it, it always started out like every time with Dante like under a pile of clothes and in the closet getting up going, I'm not even supposed to be there today. What? He didn't come in? Oh, not again. And then he'd always complain about the gum in the lock so he couldn't, he'd have to put that sign there, you know, the assure sign. Oh, I'm still doing this, dude. I ain't even done a thing. <clears throat> I assure you we're open. Why do you smell like shoe polish? <laughs> it's a long story. I love that. You're making me want to watch it again. And then, like, in, in the Clerks 1, the guy that goes into the bathroom and dies on the toilet. <laughs> it's such a funny thing. Not that, you know, it's funny, but that particular scenario. Then playing hockey up on the roof. And all of it virtually taking place in one little store that Kevin Smith worked at in real life. He had like a bunch of memories from working there too, and that's why he used it. And then they had like, uh, what is this, Jay and Silent Bob reboot that came out, and, and they filmed it like in New Orleans or whatever, not in New Jersey. So they needed to make like um, the quick store or the quick stop or whatever. So they just made a facade of it, which is, you know, the front part, not the inside or interior of the place. Like, so they rebuilt that down in New Orleans on a street and uh, when it was done Kevin Smith came over there and he looked at it and he had like tears running down his eyes because he said this looks just like it used to back then. Because I think the place like changed or something. Changed ownership and they changed the way it looked or whatever. But I think for Clerks 3 they're, since they're filming in, or were filming in New Jersey they're going to go back to that actual place and film. But you never know. I mean, it's Hollywood, so they'll probably they can build a set or something like that to match it. I built the quick stop in my Halo map. A map that won't load anymore. Thank you, Windows 10. Yeah, I got that on DVD somewhere. They should like try to colorize it. That'd be hilarious. The, I like the one scene that that really like gets me kind of laughing is like uh, whenever the woman is in front of the video store and she's ready for him to open up and she's got to return a movie and nobody's there, and then all of a sudden um, Randall shows up. And uh, he, like, pulls on the door handle, you know, and said, the closed or whatever, not open yet? And she's like, yeah, and he goes, jerks or whatever, you know. Like, so he's like... OXNYX053 says, you will never find the gas station from Pony Express set in the future. Oh. But uh, then, then all of a sudden, like, Randall goes into the the quick stop store and he gets the keys for the video store and goes to unlock it and then she goes in and <laughs> uh, yeah a lot, a lot of stuff is just a facade you know and then they, they like build interiors and like uh, stage sets and whatnot it's almost like um, you know the Brady Bunch house that they have they, they had they filmed the exterior back in the day of a certain house, and then they film the interior, you know, just in a, set, a movie set or, or a, a studio. And um, years later, like it was maybe like maybe three, four years ago, the cast. N Y X zero five three says, "I guess it was called the Postman." The Postman. 
That's a good movie. I like that movie. OXNYX053 says, in Cleveland, I think. Kevin Costner movies are so awesome. So are Tom Hanks movies. But um, the Brady Bunch kids, you know, the six of them, got together and actually, um, like, bought or somehow acquired the exterior, the house that was used for the exterior shots in real life. And they redid the interior to match the studio version because the house was nothing like the, in, the interior at all. But they matched it up. I thought that was pretty awesome. Because I guess they did like a general idea of like when they built when they built the set version based off of that house. They probably did go inside and get measurements of the house size, but may have had to like scale it up, you know, for studio stuff because they do that. Um, I always thought that was pretty cool. Oh, they auctioned it off too. But yeah, there's certain people that actually go around and um try to find where like shows and movies and stuff were actually filmed and the exterior sets that were used that still exist or or places that were physically used you know it's like a little bucket list of theirs I've never been one of those people the only time I actually got excited about an area was when my sister um and I'd like to watch some the show Dexter, you know. That's an, it's awesome. Dexter's awesome. Um the first season was filmed in Miami, like his apartment that thing was actually filmed there except for, you know, the interior shots. Some of them were filmed there, but some of them were in a studio. But uh, after season one or half of half of season one or something like that, they uh, moved it all like to California or whatever and just used that as OX Miami. OXNYX053 says, Dexter, a good family comedy. Right? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you know, the apartment complex or whatever that is used there, it's like a condo thing or whatever. Well, it, it became famous because of Dexter, you know, the area in which it was at. So people kept... Like going there and like taking pictures of the apartment and you know scaring everybody that lived there. So the owner like put up a thing about no trespassing or whatever like that. And um, every once in a while, when the studio would have to get exterior shots of the actual place, or Anthony Michael Hall would have to be there, you know they would they would return to that place in Florida and, and like film the apartment area. Well. When my sister lived in Miami, she uh, wanted her boyfriend from there and herself to move back home around the air from where we are and have him like go to college in Little Rock, Arkansas and all that. Um, so she came over here and we flew to Miami to help him pack up his stuff and, and give me like a little sort of a vacation which is un unpaid because at the time I didn't get vacation at Dollar General. Um, but it was like a, a day and a half of, um, you know, maybe maybe like a, a solid day of actually being in Miami and getting to see all the sights and stuff and experience that for myself. One of the places I wanted to go was Dexter's apartment. And I actually we went to that location, but again... You couldn't enter. He had signs up and stuff like that. The actual owner dude, I think, was actually he was out there painting one of the white railings and stuff. And I was asking him, I said, uh, Dexter's apartment. And he said, yeah, you can't come in. I said, no, I, I know. I've, I've, I've read online that you don't let people come in and stuff like that. It's okay. I just, you know, wanted to see it myself and, like, have that nostalgia feel. OXNYX053 says, Coral Castle for us. Nice. That's awesome. That is so cool. <clears throat> yeah, like that's that's one of the things, like one of the little, the bucket lists of life, I guess. You know, like if you like a show or a movie, and you just want to visit that set to 
it it becomes more real to you, you know. I mean, it it became so real to me the Dexter's apartment thing. I used um, it was an architect program that uh, I had a free trial of that I recreated his apartment in or whatever like that, and made like a little video walkthrough of it and stuff. Even like the tiles, the little like tiles they used and stuff. And then I found out, you know, they changed the scaling of it whenever they moved it to California. They added an extra window to his apartment. Yeah, I love Dexter. It's a pretty awesome show. And I didn't, ha you know, the uh, New Blood Dexter is not that bad either. It's just the fact that, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but how it ended. I mean, sort of sucks, but it's basically what would have happened. I mean, Coral Castle is pretty sweet. Now I'm jealous. I'll never go to see another place again, that's for sure. Heck, nobody probably will. It's Travel is so tight when it comes to wanting to actually go places these days. <clears throat> What is the store? Oh, it's that. It's just... Dude, I ain't even looked at this shit before. Huh. OXNYX053 says, Quite a while ago, we fly into Miami, rented a convertible, drove to Key West, stayed a week two blocks off the Duval Strip. We took a couple of day trips up the Keys. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty awesome. I I got like a a little bit of a tour of Miami when I was there, but you know I I videoed a lot of it, duh, like a you know an idiot. I I said hello to people and they looked at me weird. And Arkansas hospitality, you know they don't they don't really know about that. O X N Y X zero five three says best three thousand dollars we've ever spent. Oh wow! Did you have to get one of those day passes too, like a, a the sun pass or whatever it is to. Go through the toll highways or whatever they're called, freeways. That's insane. They have to pay to go down a highway. I guess it you gotta pay for it to maintain it or whatever. I think it was called a sun pass. And I and one of the things I wanted to get when I was there was a damn um a, a coconut. <laughs> Like an actual like green coconut and all this kind of stuff that's still packaged up. I could have got one, almost got one, but I didn't. That's all I wanted, coconut. I didn't know that people went around with like machines and actually took them down. Five three says there were no toll road for us. Oh, you avoided a lot of it then, because um my sister's boyfriend had to um his that normally is like mounted up next to the uh, the mirror, you know, the rearview mirror. He had to like hold it up whenever he went underneath the certain areas or whatever like that, so that it would see it. And here I am motioning it in front of my monitor where you can't see me. <laughs> uh, let's see, refine, change. But I, I could have got me a coconut. And experience, it was a Tuesday, was like the day that we did like a whole like go around thing. Because every Tuesday in Miami, it's at like this park area. They have food trucks and like this celebration thing or something back or back then, I guess they don't now because of COVID. But, um, and I videoed that. I was such a tourist. I mean, I had it written all over my face. Went to that famous beach or whatever that's over there. I didn't really care much for that. Got me some sand. You know, you're not supposed to, but I got me some sand. I managed to get out there and do it myself. I walked over there to the beach and got it. Because where um, my sister's boyfriend lived, or is where his parents lived, was right next to one of the Trump hotels or whatever on that beach. <clears throat> 
And uh, I had to like walk from their gated community. OXNYX053 says, at the time tolls were east slash west. We went north slash south. The airport was also on the south side, so no tolls on our route. Ah. Do you have to do any of that like when you're driving a truck? Like uh, certain roads where you have to like every time just pay like, you know, a dollar or five dollars, whatever like that, just to go through and then come back through again. I mean, they don't give you like a break or anything. <clears throat> Change. No, y'all y'all have to like stop everywhere and like get weighed. That's what sucks. It's like mandatory too, isn't it? DOT and up your ass about shit. So you got an ultra. Oh, what's that? Oh, they they've put that there. I I don't need any more of those. Limited time only. I've got like seven of those. Rare. What can I get from my Klingon? It's duty officer. I don't really care about getting anything uncommon. All I can think of is upgrades. I mean, if I need anything, I can always like get some of those. Uncommon, nomin, 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 uncommon. Yeah. And add that together. Okay, 182, so... We'll five hundred that one eight two zero 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 and boom another five hundred waiting to be gotten got get it get it okay um. OXNYX053 says it is selective when open some states have a highway open slash closed system and a pull in but get bypassed system. My company has a pre pass system. So you can like avoid a lot of that? Avoid getting weighed all the time? Hopefully they weigh you without you being in the truck, because, you know, what if you eat something and you gain like a few pounds and it sets your load over? That would suck. <clears throat> How long have I been recording? An hour and 58 minutes. I was wanting to make this a short night because I need I need sleep. <laughs> I'm also hungry and it's 12 o'clock. No. Damn it. What's going on? Oh, they're dancing. OXNYX053 says, skip it in its entirety. Nice. Yeah, I'm here for my other Phoenix box I got earlier. Let's see. We have event. One more day tomorrow. And we'll get the full thing. And then I'll play it again to get the dilithium from it. I still have yet to play the Red Shift or whatever this is episode. Is it like here or something? Yeah. Skip it. <laughs> to, to what? Anything I need to create. Let's see. R&D system. Beams engineering. Do I have any more Aegis stuff? I totally forgot about making some of that stuff. Nope. Completely sold out. All right. Uh, can I create anything with that? Two components missing. Two missing. And missing. Uh, that's probably all the stuff that, like, costs money. 
No. We'll make some of those. Let's see. But for sure, like that. Right. Oh, no. Neat. Okay. I may be able to make something after all. Because Aegis sails. OXNYX053 says, Well, get some rest. Maybe next weekend I can help you grind or recruit. Yeah, it's it's an iffy thing on that recruit because I, I barely play it. I mean, I got him. He's sitting there. and I mean, last night I did do a mission to advance him. I think it was, it was something called War or something. What was that episode? Is it? It's not even here. It's like a... A war something. Only two episodes was in it. Um, but yeah. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. But yeah. I'm, I'm gonna shut her down in just a moment. Uh, covert shield. Begin. Uh, yeah. And then super crafting. Super crafting, got plenty of those. 45 to 55, it's not gonna work. OXNYX053 says, spoilers. Spoilers? For what? Oh yeah, Discovery came back on, didn't it? What spoilers? For a vehicle? Gum tree. Gamar. Gamar. No, I don't want Gamovar. I want Gamovar. Science projectiles. OXNYX053 says, Redshift. Redshift? What's that? Redshift. Is that a Star Trek thing? I, I, have, I don't know what that is. Can we create this without... Yes, we can. We will make that. We will also look back at this again. And perhaps... No, we cannot create that, though. We are out of those. Redshift. Is that like, like the red shirts of Star Trek? Engineering. Still those. In progress. OXNYX053 says... The episode you have not played. You literally just mentioned it. Oh, that! Oh, and you mean in here? Yeah. Redshift. I have not played it yet. Terran attack on Jupiter Station led to death and destruction in the wake, where the Terrans are simply probing the Federation defenses, or was there something more significant about Jupiter Station than we're after? <laughs> Spoilers. You can, yeah, you can spoil it. I don't care. I mean, I'm probably not going to play it at all. Unless you have to play it during the event. I guess I need to play it. Is it long? Cause if, it, if it's long, I don't want to play it. I'm, I'm kind of tired of the, the episodes. You know. I mean, I, I went through, like, back when there were just the normal set. I went through and did all of them. And now there's gaps in it because uh, they keep adding more little OXNYX bits and pieces. OXNYX053 says... Redshift offers a Unikit module XCOM 3 pack, but you have to play a system setup mirror tune. Oh. Oh, it, okay. I remember. Okay. Um, in here, the firewall, at the very end, it's like a mirror version of yourself in the Terran, right? So you get to play that person? That's pretty cool. What else have I not done? Kardashian struggle. Uh, Borg. New Romula. OXNYX053 says, yes. That might be worth playing. That's pretty good. I like that. Mirror Link versus Mirror Zelda. Get to play Mirror Kirok. Kirok. I guess I have caught up on a lot of these. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, there's a bunch in there that I haven't done. <laughs> I still haven't finished that. I keep, like, leaving it open. 
Somewhere. OXNYX053 says, the workaround for voice, is what's her face tried to kill you so you use a voice box. The workaround for voice. So try to so you use a voice box. So your character talk? Wasn't there something in here about uh, before on this game where you can use in-game voice and it would make your the character your character's mouth actually move? Or am I just thinking wrong or not thinking of this game? They they have added a lot to this one. I haven't done yet. <sighs> New frontiers. Hailed up some of that there that I haven't done. I've done a bunch of these missions under other characters. That's what it is that I keep remembering. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, they are in there. I got a few of them. Damn it. I'm never going to get them all done. Alright. Well. Xander. Xander. OXNYX053 says, Yep. It's your tune, but that way they explain how and or why it isn't the voice you'd expect. Neat. Yes, I, I do need to play that then. Eventually. I just, I can't right now because I, I need to go to bed. Hey, hands off the hologram. Hands off the hologram. So I've, I've literally like barely got any sleep these past few nights. Because of issues, and I need I need like one of those good long sleeps, you know, like maybe eight to ten hour sleeps. And I have to go to work tomorrow at two p.m., which is okay because it's not twelve at least, or or ten, ten ten to go uh, ten to nine o'clock. That sucks ass. Uh, so yeah, get a good one in, and then still have a few hours. All right, I'm going to close her off, end her right now. I wish we could shoot those guys. That'd be nice. OXNYX053 says, from someone who basically avoids sleep professionally, get some rest. <laughs> Insomniac. That used to be a cool show to watch, too, back on, uh, what was that, Comedy Central? Stay Up Late Insomniac with, uh, I forget the guy's name. He would, like, go to bars every night. All right, dude. Well, I know you'll probably still be awake f for a while here. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to shut her down and, and head out. You have a good night, all right? And, uh, whoever else may be in that, uh, Ke I see Kevsky... Kev's like sitting there, maybe, or left over from yesterday, I don't know. We had Bara. Kevsky underscore says, good night, Scorp, L-U-L. <laughs> Kevsky underscore says, I was lurking. You were a lurker today. Bara SCR22, Bara screen, I don't know. Followed today, which is interesting. I haven't had a follow in like, well, this is five days, and then before that was twenty days, which doesn't bother me. I don't, I don't, you know, people can follow; they can, they can't follow. It doesn't matter. I don't really look forward to any followers. You know, I'm just here to play this game like an idiot for everybody that wants to watch and yell at the screen, going "You dumbass!" And it's boring too. I play; I am a boring player. Because I do the same routine every night, and this guy is still standing here doing nothing. You, know, you can't, you can't tell me that he's actually doing the bank thing that long. It, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, um, good night, Kev. Good night, Ox. Good night, Movie House. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. That sort of shit. Hey, those All right. Yep, yeah, it's what like Sunday morning now, so twelve. Almost twelve fifteen. Alrighty. Yep, we're gonna end it. So good night. Farewell. 
And salute 07 or whatever they call it. Yeah. This character is so weird faced. But he looks more like Kirk than a lot of mine, the other tribes. That's the whole point behind this character is like supposed to be a Kirk knockoff. Anyway, good night, everybody. Trek on. And bye bye.